Sally Swallow's remarkable journey starts here, in South Africa, 6,000 miles from home. The first landmark she passed was the Ngoro Ngoro National Park. She flew on through the savannah. and found herself in the Kalahari Desert. She was glad when she reached the cooler air of Mount Kilimanjaro. And on over Lake Victoria, where she fed on many flying insects. She flew down into the Sahara and through Sudan. The tropical heat was unbearable and was made worse by a sandstorm. She was glad to find the upper reaches of the River Nile. It was a misty morning when she passed the pyramids. She followed the coast along the north of Africa until at last she turned north to cross the Mediterranean Sea. Eventually, on the horizon, she saw Mount Etna and the island of Sicily. The hawks there really scared her. She flew all evening up the west coast of Italy. The next day she faced a long flight over the Alps. The upward climb was exhausting. The winds became horrific.
she was battered and blown by the strong winds. Once past the Matterhorn, it became downhill and was much easier. She flew on across France. and soon reached the English Channel. The white cliffs of Dover were there to greet her. She finally arrived at the North Downs. She had reached the nest where she was born. It was the end of her journey. Mm -hmm.